companies are beginning to release their coveted Super Bowl commercials ahead of the big game. Over the past decade, the average cost of a 30-second Super Bowl ad has increased by 87 percent. The price for a spot this year is $5 million. One of the ads getting early buzz is a lip-sync battle between Mountain Dew and Doritos. It stars actors Morgan Freeman and Peter Dinklage. You ain't never gonna stop me. Every time I come in, then I gotta set it, then I gotta go in, then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow it, then I gotta shut it. Any little thing, and then I think that he be doing because it doesn't matter because I'm gonna did it, did it. Doritos Blaze, a bold new flavor that brings the heat. Quiet! Hush your mouth. I told your mother, y'all can't stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, then come on, get me now. Is you with me now? Janine Poggi is a media reporter at Advertising Age. Good morning. Good morning. Why do they release these early? I guess so we can have this conversation we're having now. Yeah, they really <laughs> yeah. want to get as much publicity for the ads as possible. As you said, you know, the prices have just gone up. It costs $5 million for a 30-second spot in the ad. So they they're really want to put as much publicity behind these as possible, so they pre-release a lot of these. And the, the theme, there's been some political ads. At, is that... A, Something you're expecting to see again this year, or does that turn out, you know, getting consumers kind of irritated? Yeah, I think most of the ads will be more lighthearted and funny. A lot of the advertisers are going to steer clear of talking about politics or social issues. I think for the most part, we're going to see humor play out. Groupon is coming back for the first time since, I think you said 2011. Yeah. They can thank Tiffany Haddish for that, right? Yeah, great story. Yeah, well, let's Jimmy take a look Kimmel. at the ad yeah. first, and then you can tell us a backstory because it's good. When you use Groupon in your neighborhood, you're not only saving money, you're also supporting local business. I mean, what kind of person wouldn't want to support local business? I hate local business. Family owned, even better. Shut it down. Oh. Oh. When you save in your neighborhood, it feels so good. It didn't feel good for him, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Tiffany I Haddish. I do, too. Yeah. It's funny. It's a lot of fun. But the backstory. She was on Jimmy Kimmel talking about how she used a Groupon voucher to take Will and Jada Pinkett Smith to uh, this Louisiana tour, and it kind of just blew up. It went viral. She's apparently a huge Groupon user, and they brought her on smartly. No, because Will and Jada guys thought it was going to be a private trip. So when they came and all those people were there, they said, why are all these people here? And she said, it's Groupon. <laughs> and they said, what is that? That's why I think it's genius that they put them together. Very in smart. Yeah. M&M's making a return to the Super Bowl three-year hiatus and starring Danny DeVito. Let's take a look. I've had three people try to eat me today. Three. Ooh, lucky penny. Anyway, sometimes I wish I were human. Whoa. Look at me. I'm human. Do you want to eat me? No. Do you want to eat me? No, thanks. No? Would you like to eat me? <laughs> Nobody wants to eat me! I'm the luckiest! You dropped your lucky penny. Man, I look good. You're still short and bald. So how does that fit into the whole theme yes. of this year? Yeah, it's a just, family viewing. That yeah. could go many ways. Well, the theme is you get hit by a football or yes, a bus. Or a bus. Pretty much. It's a lot of slapstick. You know, yeah. I think okay. they're really looking to keep this light. It's been a hard year. They don't want to lean into a lot of the issues that we're talking about and seeing in the news every day. They want to just keep it a fun conversation for during the Super Bowl. In the past, there's been a big um, gap between men ads and women ads. Do you think, given the climate, that things will be different this year? Because I think most people think, of course, more men watch football than women. Well, you would think that. Yeah. Last year, it was just under 49% female uh -huh. that watched the Super mm -hmm. Bowl. So there's a huge, huge female audience, yet the ads still are heavily skewed male, both in the context and the people that are starring in the ads themselves. You know, last year we took a look. There were 61 men in featured roles and 23 women. And it doesn't look like that's going to change much this year. Yeah, I like the point that a lot of women watch football. I think Absolutely. That's a really important point to me. Absolutely. Yeah. What's Budweiser doing this year? 
So Budweiser will actually be promoting some of its philanthropic efforts. Uh, it's water, it's bringing water to areas hit by natural disasters. So instead of a commercial featuring the Clydesdales, which is what they typically have done, they are promoting their philanthropic efforts. But I like the Clydesdales. They will. I just, they the puppies. So yes. this morning we just found out that the Clydesdales will actually be in a five second bumper ad for a live feed of the Clydesdales that you can then go watch online. So they're not getting rid of them apparently entirely. Entirely. Good. 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 All right. But who had to deliver that news to the Clydesdales? You just, you just in <laughs> a bumper Clydesdales. this year. Right? I know. Thank, Might thank have been you. a little traumatic for them, John. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dean. Yeah, yeah, great to see you. Looking forward to Sunday.